Today we have Anir Duda, president of Stenograph. Anir, really appreciate your time. Good afternoon, Ray. I'm very happy to be here and thank you for inviting me to this podcast. Today we're celebrating the anniversary one year launch of the Phoenix Speech Recognition Software and MaxScribe Digital Reporting Solution. November 1st, last year, uh, 2021, we launched uh, Phoenix, uh, our speech recognition technology for the legal industry, and MaxScribe, uh, our user application that utilizes Phoenix uh, to create a, uh, a certified transcript. Anir, could you talk a little bit about what the industry need was to create these solutions? The, the need, uh, Ray, as you asked the question, uh, was about the number of transcripts that are required, the number of jobs, legal matters that need to be covered uh, is, is growing at a rate of 3 to 4% uh, on a compounded annual growth basis. And the, the, the number of trained professionals that are available in the market today is not able to cover for that growth. And so the, the need in the market is for methods like digital reporting to be acceptable uh, as a method to create the final transcript and Stenograph uh, being a leading technology provider in this marketplace for 80 plus years uh, needed to bring to market uh, a, a solution that would allow for people to use digital technology in a responsible manner to create a accurate verbatim record. And that's really what was behind Stenograph's decision uh, to invest in uh, not only Phoenix uh, speech recognition technology, but, but MaxScribe as well. From what I'm hearing throughout the industry, it really sounds like there are a lot of users that need this technology now. So from the launch, November 1st, 2021 till now, um, what does the user growth look like when it comes to Phoenix utilization and MaxScribe? Yeah, we are, uh, we are really excited about this. Uh, in fact, um, Phoenix and MaxScribe have uh, exceeded all our expectations in terms of uh, adoption in the marketplace and, and usage. I'm happy to share in some numbers uh, with, with your listeners. Start from November 1st last year through end of October, uh, which is where we are today, uh, Phoenix uh, usage has seen about a month over month 40% growth uh, on a compounded annual growth basis. We have had more than 500 users uh, utilizing MaxScribe in a variety of capacities for recording, for transcription, for editing, for scoping, using real team with the streaming technology that we, uh, that we just launched. Um, there's more than 500 users uh, in, in, in the US alone uh, that are using, uh, using MaxScribe. And there are about uh, 130 plus agencies, uh, which range from um, you know, individual practitioners with one or two people in an agency, so a very small agency, to mid-sized regional agencies, to very large nationals uh, that are utilizing uh, Phoenix, the power of Phoenix and MaxScribe, to really cover jobs that would not be covered if digital reporting and a responsible way of digital reporting was not, not available. And, you know, I'm very excited about this, this kind of growth and this uh, type of adoption. Uh, we did not, when we launched it, expected uh, this to take off like this in the first year of its introduction. Uh, you know, I, I will also uh, mention that uh, along the way, we did launch our uh, Digital Reporting Academy, uh, which is a completely online program uh, that allows users to do self-paced and, and um, instructor-based uh, uh, training on MaxScribe. We are working, um, uh, you know, very hard to provide content to our users so that they can learn to use MaxScribe very, very quickly. And so, all of that work with our customer success managers and our and our training agents has really led to this kind of explosion in adoption over the past one year. Wow, and you know, when you were talking about the different agencies and their vastly different sizes, the term that came to mind for me was really the democratization of technology. It's not just the big box shops that have access to this, but anybody in this space 
in the legal technology industry that needs to do transcripts or depositions uh, now has an e extremely powerful engine accessible to them with the launch of Phoenix. So that kind of leads us into what about competition? It sounds like this, this industry would be ripe for competitors to pop up. Yes, I mean, before I get into uh, talking about our competitors or competition, really, I want to kind of reiterate uh, one central piece. Um, Stenograph's philosophy is to uh, is is always been to uh, you know uh, empower uh, uh, practitioners and empower uh, all stakeholders within within the court reporting and legal transcription um, uh, ecosystem. Our vision is to put speech recognition on every desktop within this industry. That's our vision, and 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 that is what what you're seeing. Uh, in 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 terms of talking about competitors, I think uh, we welcome competition. I think competition is good for the industry in general. It's good for Stenograph because it 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 motivates us and it keeps us keeps us honest about what we are doing in the marketplace. It it motivates us to be better than where we are today. Um, I think philosophically, I think there's a key difference between what we are doing and what uh, most of our competitors are doing. And, and, and that's, that's really one thing. Um, our approach to this uh, is, is that of empowerment, while our competitors' approach is that of disruption. We are here to empower the practitioner. We are here to empower the agency. We are here to empower all um, you know, uh, participants of this ecosystem. We're not here to disrupt anything. We very much value the tradition and the processes and the practice and the discipline that it takes to create a, a certified transcript. We are here to provide technology to make that process more productive and to empower individuals with technology so that they can be more profitable. We're not here to disrupt anything. And so I think that is the central piece of what we do versus some of our competitors do. But overall, I welcome comp uh, competition. And you know that's exciting to hear. Um, with Stenograph being a company that essentially paved the way to a new way to capture transcripts, um, it's it's wonderful to hear that you're keeping court reporters in mind. And the fact is that. You've been this, in this industry for over 80 years. So comparatively, I feel like the competitors are just trying to catch up. Um, are a lot of them new to the industry or have some of them been pl playing around in legal tech for a while? I think, I think it's a combination. There are some very new entrants and there are some, some uh, others that have been in this industry for a little bit in, in, in other segments. Um, I think overall, I think generally speaking, um, you know, our focus is on ourselves. Our focus is how can we create value for for our users and our customers and for 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 anybody that wants to use technology. I think you know one thing Stenograph does very well is focus on our customers because that's the source of a good product and a good solution, not to um, you know go and try to find out what a com competitor is doing. So we keep focused and, and we have done that throughout our 80 year history. That's how we created the best writer in the marketplace. That's how we created the market leading cat software and for sonography called Case Catalyst. And that's how we are going to create the market leading uh, technology for digital reporting. So our focus is on ourselves and our, and our customers rather than trying to copy or look at what our competitor is doing. You know, hearing that, that be customer focus mentality, um, I think everybody who utilizes Stenograph technology wants to and loves hearing that. So in that customer focus perspective, what's next for the customer? Are there any uh, big picture items or new features that Stenograph is looking to roll out? Yeah, absolutely. When we launched this in November of last year, that was just the first version of the software uh, and, 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 and the speech recognition technology. Over the past year, we have consistently uh, made our both our speech recognition technology and MaxDrive as a software 
uh, better. Uh, we have released three versions in the last one year. Uh, we have made numerous upgrades to the to the speech recognition engine that uh, improves not only the the accuracy of the engine but also the formatting, the the speaker recognition technology. All of those things have improved. Moving forward, I, I do want to talk about a couple of other things. I think one of our key learnings is that we need to diversify our offerings rather than just provide one offering to the customer. Uh, because at the end of the day, we have to listen to the customer's needs rather than telling them what we have. Um, you know, so in addition to MaxScribe, we are also uh, about to launch uh, something called Phoenix On Demand. And, and, and really what Phoenix On Demand is a agency or an enterprise's own speech recognition engine. Uh, it's an engine uh, that is dedicated to an agency, uh, to, to an enterprise. If they, if they want to white label that, we're happy to. It's an engine that can sit with a uh, partner, like a transcription service provider, um, with a law firm. Whoever wants a speech recognition engine uh, can get their own speech recognition engine. So that's uh, Phoenix On Demand. Um, that's uh, about to launch in, in a few days. And, and what it really does is allows agencies to integrate the output from Phoenix into their own custom workflows and create differentiation from an operational perspective for their own businesses, rather than follow one, one method uh, to capture the record and create the record. So that's, that's coming. Uh, in, in addition to that, we are also going to provide um, you know, uh, options for customers to send overflow work um, you know, to get a fully certified transcript. Um, that's something that uh, we hadn't started uh, initially, but was always on our strategy to do, uh, where we can help court reporting firms with overflow work uh, to create a full, fully, fully certified transcript uh, through services we offer. So uh, <clears throat> those are the uh, you know, new things that we are looking at uh, to provide in addition to improving MaxScribe and Phoenix as we go along. Goodness. It really sounds like uh, that Phoenix speech recognition technology uh, has already come a long way and has a lot of potential for the future. Uh, are there other capabilities that you're going to be building in or you know, perhaps uh, other improvements that are planned on that timeline? Sure. Uh, our next uh, real big foray is into uh, incorporating other foreign languages. Uh, into into the engine, um, also uh, working on uh, European accents and 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 different uh, accents uh, that are available um, that are that are prevalent in the United States and Canada. Uh, so so getting better with accent, getting better with uh, languages, interpretations, um, you know, translations. Um, in 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 addition to that, we are consistently working on making our real time. Uh, experience better for our customers um, uh, in terms of both accuracy and speaker diarization, obviously integration of all that into our um, into our uh, case view net and real team ecosystem, um, then ability to uh, use a platform such as case testify to uh, to provide that uh, that feed to the customer. So those are all things that we are working on. Um, uh, that that will be uh, coming along in, in in the future. Now, you had mentioned other industries earlier. Um, are you partnering with other industries or looking to um, build out some of those programs utilizing Phoenix? Absolutely. You know, Phoenix, as as I've mentioned repeatedly, is a speech recognition uh, technology that is built purpose built for legal. So we are. Uh, absolutely planning uh, to take Phoenix into other verticals of legal um, uh, that we don't address today, uh, things like uh, e-discovery and others. Uh, so we are looking to leverage Phoenix across multiple different uh, segments of legal um, uh, in the future. In addition to that, Gray, I, I just want to mention that um, you know one of the key things that we are also uh, working on is partnerships. Uh, partnerships with with schools uh, to start digital reporting programs so that there is a workforce that is created uh, to help bridge this supply and demand gap that kind of exists today in the marketplace. You know, uh, we are working with a variety of different schools. Uh, some of them uh, will come through uh, in the next 30 to 60 days. 
uh, which we'll be happy to uh, announce at that time, but, but, but also um, transcription service providers. Uh, we are working with uh, transcription service providers to incorporate Phoenix and uh, MaxTrap technology, both Phoenix On Demand and MaxTrap technology into their workflows so that they can create, they can provide a service um, uh, for the legal marketplace for overflow work. Um, you know, when customers have all this audio that they can get transcribed, um, there is an option there with, with, with Stenograph's transcription provider, uh, provider partners uh, to, to, to allow for that. So um, we are very excited about this. And our view of the marketplace is that we can't do this alone. We want to partner with as many people as possible so that we can provide a method, digital method, that is responsible and is keeping the practitioner at the center of, of the technology and is allowing for a fully 100% accurate certified transcript per standards created by AAERT, uh, that's the CER and the CET. Uh, so we, we want certified uh, operators utilizing Max, Scribe, and Phoenix. Um, that's our responsibility. Uh, to this marketplace, and that's what we're looking at. And much like MaxScribe, uh, you had just mentioned AAERT. I know that that organization is growing a lot, so it sounds like um, digital and the use of Phoenix is taking off across the industry. When it comes to yes, it is, and absolutely it is, and and we are very excited about that. And 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 again, like I said repeatedly, we're in this because we want to help create a fully accurate, fully certified transcript in a responsible way using digital technology. And with these new uh, transcribers coming in, getting their certificates from AAERT, um, and the growing number of agencies Stenograph is building out, uh, are we looking at creating a placement program for some of these individuals? Yeah, sure. I mean, like I said, we are partnering with different schools. And we have more than 130 today and growing every day uh, agencies that are utilizing our technology that need, um, uh, you know, certified digital reporters, certified transcriptionists um, uh, that can use MaxScribe. And, you know, when the schools teach MaxScribe and they provide the certification using the AERD certification process, um, those uh, new uh, people, uh, the, the, the future workforce, have a ready-made uh, marketplace to be placed. And Stenograph is absolutely committed to helping find and connect the schools with our users so that there is a supply chain of, of new digital reporters, certified digital reporters out in the marketplace that can cover digital jobs. It is part of trying to solve that shortage of certified, educated digital reporters that are professional and that will create that 100% accurate and fully certified record for the marketplace and the clients. Well, it certainly sounds like the industry has a lot to be excited about, especially when it comes to uh, Phoenix and MaxScribe. The benefits are really apparent. And we've talked a little bit about how it's helping to meet that supply and demand gap. What about the excitement throughout Stenograph as a whole or some of the investment that Stenograph has been putting into the technology? You know, Stenograph, uh, I'd like to say, has invested in court reporting for more than 80 years. And we continue to do that today. Uh, we are extremely lucky to have HICO as our parent organization that is completely bought into our vision of court reporting 2.0, which includes stenography, voice reporting and digital reporting as all acceptable methods to creating a fully certified transcript. Um, Heiko has consistently and continues to invest significant amount of uh, resources into stenography. Uh, we have in the past invested in voice and we will continue to do that. And Heiko is continuing to invest in, in Phoenix and digital reporting for the future. So it is this investment 
that is coming in, but the investment is coming in for all methods, really investing in court reporting 2.0, which is a method agnostic future where all methods can coexist and will be required, in fact, to meet the increasing demand of legal matters and legal transfers. That's a beautiful future, and it's really exciting to be a part of that and see that happening in real time. Um, yeah, I just want to add one more thing before we, we before uh, before we close. Ray is that you know speech recognition technology, uh, MaxScribe. Uh, this this is a marathon. Uh, you know, uh, we have been in this marathon of court reporting for the past eighty years. Uh, we have consistently improved our writing writers. We have consistently improved Case Catalyst, and we will consistently improve Phoenix uh, Speech Recognition and MaxScribe. This is not a sprint. This is a marathon. And what is important is that uh, our investment arm or our investment parent company um, continues to invest in that marathon so that we can get better. Uh, it's something that is um, unique in this marketplace uh, for, for Stenograph. Um, and we are very proud to have it and very lucky to have it, in fact, that we can continue to invest in the future technologies uh, for the betterment of this industry. Thank you so much, Anir. I think that your leadership in this space and um, your excitement around this industry is absolutely inspirational, and I really appreciate your time. Thank you very much, Ray. I'm glad that uh, we could talk, and thank you for inviting me to your podcast. Thanks. Thank you.